Here's some SOKOTOA questions. SOKOTOA being an acronym to help you remember sine, cosine, and tangent, what the formulas are. There are three different questions, but for each of them we're determining some angle. Question one, let's find x based on this side 15 and this side 8. Well, first let's identify the sides. If this is the angle I'm working with, this side is across the river on the opposite side, opposite. This side 15 is across from the 90, that makes it the hypotenuse, the longest side. So we think which formula uses O and H? Check your SOKOTOA, it's got to be sine. In other words, we know that the sine of x is opposite, I always like to write the formula, over hypotenuse. So the sine of x is, what's the opposite? 8 over, what's the hypotenuse? 15. And lots of different strategies of where to go from here. But to avoid writing out a big long decimal, let's get that sine off an x. You can never divide by sine. That doesn't work. To get this sine off the x, we've got to do inverse sine. That is, it comes off the x and goes onto the other side, but it doesn't divide, it reverses, it inverses. It becomes sine to the power of negative 1, 8 over 15. And now we're ready to go to solve. I know it's going to be approximate. This is not going to be an exact answer. So I'll take my calculator and calculate sine inverse by doing shift sine. I get my inverse of sine. I'll put some brackets. 8 divided by 15. Close the brackets. What's the answer? Approximately 32 degrees. So the angle that x is is approximately 32 degrees. Let's look at question 2. We're using this side and this side compared to this angle y. So let's first identify, identify the sides. Here's y. We have to go across the river, across the street, to get to the opposite side. This is the opposite. This side here is touching me. Could be hypotenuse, could be adjacent. How do you know? Well, the hypotenuse is across from the 90, which 41 clearly isn't. So that's the hypotenuse. Oh, <laughs> what I mean is, that's the adjacent. That can't be the hypotenuse. Look, the hypotenuse I just finished saying is across from the 90. That's up here. Boy, big mistake. So this is the adjacent side. All right. So now we're going to use our formula. Let's take a look first. Opposite and adjacent. Which formula uses O and A? O and A. Not sine, not cosine. Yeah, it's got to be tangent. So the tangent of this Y angle equals opposite over adjacent. In other words, the tan of y equals, what's the opposite? 39. What's the adjacent? 41. And how do we clear tan off of y? Same thing as we did with sine, except we do the inverse of this function. The inverse of tan is tan to the negative 1, written like so. And we divide by our sides. There's the opposite, 39, adjacent, 41. And so y is approximately, again, I know the calculator is going to round, shift 10. Put some brackets, 39 divided by 41, close the brackets. And it tells me the angle, we'll round to the nearest degree, is approximately 44. Last question here. I have this angle and these two sides. Let's see if I can identify them correctly. I'll give you a second to identify this angle. What are these two sides? Well, first of all, across from the 90. Let's get it right this time. Across from the 90, that's the hypotenuse. Beside me, well, if you're Z, this angle here, beside me could be the hypotenuse. If it's not, beside me means, literally means adjacent. Beside is adjacent. And now I know my two sides, adjacent and hypotenuse. So, which formula uses A and H? It has to be this one, cosine. In other words, the cosine of angle Z, or Z, is adjacent over hypotenuse. So, the cosine of Z is the adjacent side, 21, over the hypotenuse, 29. To solve for z, we do the inverse of the cosine function. So z is cosine negative 1, 21 over 29. Going to be rounding again. I know it's pretty normal for trigonometry to be rounding. So inverse cos, shift cos, open the brackets, 21 divided by 29. And you get approximately, oh, also, 44 degrees. That's just coincidence.